is the Shura of Tefillah, we are by Baya Abu, 13 attribute of Arab Shparku. Now we are Rav Hester, abundant in kindness. Very interesting. We don't tell Hakadosh Baruch Hu that there is a meter characteristic of kindness. We say abundant in kindness. Now, why do we say abundant in kindness? Why do we say kindness by itself? Because kindness for Hashem is very cheap. But He created us, give us Parnoso, and Zohar Hakadosh says, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, even at the time that the person sins, He gives him power. Because we say in the davening every day. With Hadesh, the Holy Ombre and Asseb Rashid, our Baruch renews the Maisa Rashid, the creation of Rashid every minute, every second. Therefore, imagine somebody is coming to against you to do something and you have a power to destroy him, to collapse him. You gave him power. You, know, you push the button, you stop him. <laughs> what? I let him come against me? Chutzpah. What type of attitude is that? How could you come against me? But our Baruch Hu is not just kindness. It's abundant of kindness. He gives us power. He gives us energy at that time. The Lashon Hara that we say at the time that we say Lashon Hara, Hashem could push a button, makes a person mute, that you should not talk. At the time that the person steals, that's something wrong. I could who could push a button. But if has abundant of kindness. I was Baruch who is kind, abundant of kindness. Now, as we explain, when we learn about Ya'avor, just verbalizing some word. The Haftotha is, Abu Shwarfu said, to the high side, as we can say that I said, if they do like this, they did, it's that I'm telling them, they do it, I'm going to do it for them. What does mean? Did I say if they read it, they do it? What means we have to adapt in ourselves? Adapt in ourselves, grab has a abundant of kindness. It's not just enough to have kindness. Because the Navi says, What does Hashem want from you? Now we have a the Navi, go and tell the Holy Spirit, What does Hashem want from you? Ahabat Chesed. Asod Mishpat, Vahasni Alechid Hashem Elochech. Doesn't say that you should do Chesed. Ahabat Chesed. You should love Chesed. Now, what's the difference between doing Chesed and loving Chesed? Imagine a Mishpat comes to you. So, okay, I help him. Another one comes. Good. You are not such a good face with him. Stop smiling and, you know, give him, oh, I have to have mercy. But somebody who loves chesed, loves kindness, he look at any opportunity of kindness, thank Havadosh Baruch Hu. I have another opportunity to come close to Hashem. Not only come close to Hashem, but I is an opportunity to become dominant to him, similar to him. Chesed, kindness. Abraham introduced Hakadosh Baruch Hu to the creation, to the Beria through kindness. Chesed. You are counting Sefirat Omer. The first Yisod base of Omer is Chesed, kindness. That we have one of one week. This aspect of Chesed and kindness. Kindness means you come out from your shell and you do for somebody else to break the shell. Person is not just by himself in this world. There are others to help. Now you're going to tell me, Rabbi, you are living in a community and society that are so pressed with our family, they are poor, poor pressure with our parmasa, they are pressed with different things in life. Who has time for chesed? who has patience to do kindness for other people. So believe me, I have a list of how busy I am. I'm, I'm, I'm troubled with our own, my family. Of course, the first chesed starts from home. Person, charity starts from home. Person has to do chesed, but there's a point. When a person does chesed, it's not doing chesed, it Add you, add into your troubles and add to disturbance on life. Chesed means your neshama would spread out. You go out of yourself. And once you do chesed, you diminish your pressure of your life. You feel good about yourself. You feel about all of these pressures and everything. Because doing an act of chesed, you're going to become dumb to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, similar to Hashem. 
And that becoming similar to Hashem makes you to be a different person. Do you know why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu put his spirit in you. Because you got to come to it to him. That's the opposite. It's time of turbulence. It's time of full of pressure. Full of suffering. Person goes out of himself and does chesed and kindness to other people who should serve themselves. That spreads out in Shama. The Shama connects to Abu Shwara who relieves him and makes him better stand in life. Feel good about yourself. Feel good about life. Feel good about everything. And that is what Abraham Avinu is introducing. That's today's thing. Even though that we have so many pressures, so many things, but still we come up from our shell and do chesed. When we come out of our shell and do chesed, we see all of these problems are coming from the shell. Once you come out, perspective is much different. So not a load, that unbearable load that's very heavy for you to get. Why? Because you're on the shell. Once you come out of the shell, the perspective of life is different. Why? Because you're a similar type of the shvaru. You see life different. The direction of life is different. Imagine somebody is in darkness, that what he sees in darkness and darkness, they take him out from the cave of darkness, they change sun, moon, light, becomes a different person. He connects different to the Berea. That's why we say, Rab has not enough to do chesed, not enough to do more chesed, abundant of times. Why? Because we love it. It's our essence, it's our being, because we want to be no matter how And that's the purpose of our creation. Once we do what is the purpose of the creation, then we feel great about ourselves.